It's a great pleasure for me to be with you for the second time in my uh, capacity of, as UNESCO's uh, Director General. Uh, and it, as, as it's just been mentioned, this year is an important milestone as uh, in the report that has just been approved, we see that for the first time over half of the population is online. It shows that we've achieved something but that there is still a long way to go. But it uh, deserves recognition as we know what internet can bring to improve people's life. But in the recent years, successes in this area have been eclipsed also from our, UNESCO from our point of view uh, by a persistent lack of digital skills. It prevents access to technology and it, uh, it perpetuate, perpetuates inequalities. Today, the main factor preventing people in developing countries using mobile internet is poor literacy and poor digital skills, and it is even more an obstacle than affordability. These skills are vital for the population who risk being left behind, and I'm thinking particularly of gender, gender equality in light of the new data that we've uh, published recently, and I'd like especially to mention this report called I'd Blush If I Could, uh, published a few months ago that illustrates that women are now four times, four times less likely than men to be digitally literate and represent just 6% of software developers, which raises serious issues. This is why we support Africa's Codes Week, which is now the world's largest coding event, with more than 2 million participants, nearly half of whom are African women and girls, in 37 countries of the continent. But this commission uh, in the past years, and hopefully in the years to come, has done excellent work to better understand uh, the dynamics, to better understand inequalities in digital opportunities, particularly, particularly in relation to digital skills for work and digital gender divide. We would also uh, like to, to raise attention not only to digital literacy, but also for media and information literacy in order to enable critical thinking and instill values for debate in the spirit of freedom of expression, as we've all seen in the recent year that uh, technology can be used uh, to, 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 to spread misinformation or even hate speech. We are therefore uh, have to be also at the forefront of this uh, complex struggle to conduct research, to publish guidelines on countering hate speech online and preventing radicalization. And I'm very happy that we will hear also at the end of the morning the, the voices of the working group, uh, one of them especially on, uh, on uh, this issue of freedom of expression and tackling disinformation. But also very also important um, uh, working groups in this issue like school connectivity that we, that we co-chair with UNICEF or child safety online. I'd like just to conclude to bring uh, to your attention two other issues. Um, one, let's say one to be short because I know we don't have much time. Just one, the ethical challenges related to technologies, which is also uh, something we have to be, uh, to think at the same time as we think connectivity and promote connectivity. And uh, just to inform you that uh, the member states have, uh, at UNESCO have decided to launch um, the preparation of a normative instrument on the ethics of artificial intelligence, which is very linked to our discussions as well. And that, this is, that it's something that for which we'd be very, very happy to have uh, the participation of the Commission as a whole and in individually as well. So I also invite you, all of you, to, to pay attention to, to this issue and to participate. So thank you very much for, uh, for being here and looking forward to hearing uh, the discussions today. Thank you.